So we're in ZBrush 2023 and this will work, you know, in ZBrush 2022 or whatever you're using. But I've got this little character and if I turn on Polyframe, you'll notice I've used Sculptures Pro. You've done a sculpt and you use Dynamesh and you need better geometry, but you want to project your details. What I'm going to do is first Z remesh this. That is under geometry. And then I can go to Z remesh. I'm just going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to leave everything the same. This is fine. Press Z remesh. ZBrush is going to do its thing. And this is what I get. But the whole point of this is I want the details of this version and I want better geometry with Z remesher. What I'm going to do is up here in my undo timeline, I'm going to press control and tap wherever I have that detail. So in this example, this is just one step away. I'm going to go back to this guy and under sub tool, I'm going to go down to project and you'll notice project all is turned off, but we have project history. I turn PA blur, make sure this is turned down. I don't need color and I am just going to press project history. What it's doing is it's looking back at my details and it's going to project on my new geometry. Under geometry, I can press divide, but I'm just going to press control D and you'll see that's going to give me a subdivision and then I'll do project history. Let's do control D again, project history. Let's look at the detail here. Let's do it once more. Control D, project history. There we go. So we went from this to this and we had bad geometry. Now we have great geometry. I projected all my details. And the best part about this is I have subdivision levels.